Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going to be doing the WhatsApp integration in Webflow and also how to add any uh, chat that we can get the embed code that it's like that is like more easy than the uh, WhatsApp because the WhatsApp we want to make like the uh, icon and so on. But as you can see, it's going to be more easy. And the thing is that why we do this and the thing is that many people have some dubs there's always like a more like a better user experience if they have some dust they have the backup of whatsapp especially on the places that they are not like they don't need the info right now so they don't need to talk but they are looking for info so they may maybe some uh, fill some form that can be like whatsapp or any chat and then they got the the um, the resolution no like uh, so uh, in in 24 hours or so for them to have their question solved so that's why we make it like for having the best um user experience possible and to like if someone has any doubt don't lose it as a lead just bring the the question to us and also it's like a great um feedback because we know what the people think what the people are doubting are like questioning no so that's great Thank you, thank you so much for seeing the video. Remember that I do a weekly videos on Webflow, uh, landing pages, and also marketing copy. I really love that. So uh, just uh, like and subscribe for seeing more videos. And let's uh, go. Let's go to do the WhatsApp interrogation. The thing is that with Webflow, we've had uh, many clone labels that we can just uh, open in Webflow on cloning Webflow. So we don't really need to do this. You know, and the, the cool thing is that we don't even need a widget. It's done in, in code. If you see this, for example, that I was in the live code of the WhatsApp chat, if you see when I doing this, it says API uh, there in the bottom left, api.whatsapp.com, send phone. If you change the then the phone, it's your phone, and it's like direct, you know, so it's so, so, so easy to do. So once you do this, Let's gonna see um, a page that I've got that it has it has the Webflow the the WhatsApp okay integration because I've never done one of these I've only copied from other ones so let's see if it loads. Okay, so I think, yes, I've got it here. It's not here right now, so I'm gonna add it. What's up? And as you can see, here it uh, pops, I'll add it here. And you can edit all the things. He, this is uh, done by a Bricks template. So what's up, bottom Webflow Bricks templates. This is the one that, that I have copied this and as you can see is the same and they can they have also more like a uh, facebook or something it's facebook messenger i think is this you know so i just add this and edit i have to edit this edit this edit this edit edit this <laughs> and as you can see here are the the links and the links i'm gonna copy it here to better see it i've got the number that i want 34 is plus 34 you have to start and then your number so plus 34 and this is uh, the real number and if you are in another place uh, not 34 for example i think poland is 48 I, I'm saying Poland because now I'm in Poland, but the uh, phone, mm, how do you call this? Like uh, Spain prefix, phone prefix. So we add the phone prefix and that's it. And the thing is that it's already done, as you can see here. As you will uh, notice, goes like that. And on the live site, we're gonna see this is two months ago. It shouldn't be. So we're gonna 
publish again and let's see how the WhatsApp uh, works and we can also okay then gonna see another chat you know because I so that, that is and as you can see this is the number so and you're going right right away to WhatsApp you know so that's how you do this and you have to change this and also you have to change let's check here this is the link the only link that is in the whole um, structure so this is a link that you have to change here in the url and uh, for example to make some chat that are like uh, online they are much 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 more easy and i'm talking about for example this one that i've got Where is my now? Oh. It's tall tall two T O W K K dot two O. That is the widget. And how do I do that? That is with embed code. That is so 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 much easy. And that is for the people to ask, like fill the form and submit. That is so so easy. And I added the, I should have added here. Yes. Because, because in Webflow, okay, if you change things here, they are changed in all of the pages. So you don't have to go page by page changing the, the code. So this is the talk to, and this is the typical embed code that they give you in the, in the page. So you just put it on. Um, under the footer code and that's it because the other way to changing code but the thing is that this this code is for each um page so imagine something like this that is a chat box you want it in all of the pages you don't want to go page by page looking if it's done or not and if not if you got some code that you need to add only in one page you have to go to your page to the settings to the close here to the settings and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And here, this is the same, but only in a, in a page, not in all of the pages. So it depends if you, for example, need the, for example, if you need um, that uh, chat, but you really think that it's, I don't know why, um, not worth it to have it at the home page or on the service page or the contact page, and you only need it on your landing page, then you should add that code but only on the on the landing page that for example here are like here the landing pages that i'm building and i'm gonna be also doing more um more videos because i like as i'm doing that i'm gonna do those, those videos so that's the the easy way to add the the embed code also like the difference between the embed code in a page and in all of the pages and how to add the the um, the whatsapp that is so easy you have just to clone it and copy uh, gonna make it um, fast for you to know but um, it's easy okay we create a new site create a site imagine that we can let's let's do it here and then we get rid of it uh, pin please i don't need this i don't need this this no because it start to get a little bit um, slower the page. So what do I copy? I keep going up until I see this is the thing that I have to copy, the live chat wrapper. And as you can see, it's absolute 4832. It's done with a Control C. We're gonna add it here. Control V. Okay, and as you can see, we got we have to make absolute from the main wrapper or from the page. I'm uh, gonna make the for the page. So the page is gonna be relative, and this is gonna be absolute. But let me check. Why is like that? Okay. 
Ah, maybe the, the position. And the thing is that I want it to be um, also sticky. I prefer it to have the, a sticky. Let's see now. Okay, a sticky, but I want it to be absolute. Not um, here, let's see. Okay. Okay, now I've got my wrapper. But I want it to be sticky. Okay, fix it. Uh, that's how I want it. And I think it should have uh, at least here we are seeing that it goes down the other things it should be more yes like that like that so we added that as fix it with the maximum index because we want it to be like upper and just we can change here the um, the profile picture and that's it and the text and the subtext I change it here whatever we want to change or here just editing and as I've told you this is the only um, link that is so it's, it says an email to support Greek templates no it's gonna be a URL and the URL is gonna be um, pointing to this we copy and we paste and we can add 34 and whatever that's the 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 number that is gonna be like targeting okay let me see myself yes and that's it that's how you make the whatsapp button that it's like a button that it's usually useful but maybe some of other widgets are more useful because nowadays there are so many widgets that make your easy much more easy and much more make more life just, uh, just more easy also they can um, maybe have uh, some kind of AI inside so maybe that like there's like too much thing that you can do so in that case it's only only doing the embed code and just um, you just you, you have to know what is the difference between having them in one page or having them in all of the pages imagine that you've got uh, many of them I don't know why you can have one of them in each page, you know? So that's uh, how you can um, have your uh, strategy on the widgets because they are so, so important, especially on the people that usually don't. Let's uh, have the uh, easy way for them to fill a form or to just chat with us in a, in a, in a message uh, API that it hasn't have to be like so much like uh, in under two hours, but they need to have some backup, no? some some client um, experience to be like, <laughs> they, they need to have some questions solved. So that's why we do it. So thank you so much for seeing the video. I uh, hope it helps. Uh, see you in the next video will be uh, about, uh, as always, uh, Webflow, uh, copywriting, like marketing, and also landing pages. So thank you so much. Uh, like and subscribe if you have liked the video. And hope it helps. And see you in the next video. Bye.